in between senior year. She can do anything. Uh, freshman year of college. Wow. So, like, I was going into this great. It was like a month or two later. I was in the school, mm-hmm. and um, I didn't tell anybody. Mm-hmm. And so then, go to school setting, and uh, I do my life. Don't mention my brother at all. Don't even mention that I have a sibling. Just tell my life start to finish. Yeah, I did this, and I like film, and I and I and I'm here, and you know whatever. Tell my life. And she had been, sometimes there were questions, but it wasn't that common. She goes, do you have any siblings? And I always thought that she knew, and she was trying to help me, because she had a friend who went to high school with me, but was older, but knew my brother. So you're like... So I'm like, I think she maybe knows that I don't know. And she goes, do you have any siblings? And I said, yeah, I have a brother, but he uh, passed away. And she said, how long ago? And I said, which I, I actually was so grateful she did this, but I think that she was doing it as a way of being like, what if you're, you're hiding this very key detail that it seems like, and these are like my friends. Right, it's not true. And it wasn't like she was like pushing me to admit something. I, I really, you. Yeah, and yeah. so I was like, <laughs> I think that was like three months ago. Holy and everyone was like, because it's just like, that's too soon. They want no. it to be so long. Yeah. Like, you know. It's so, too soon for anyone to also know how to respond. Ac- and no one at that age does. No. Oh, good point. point. Yeah, no one at that age knows how to deal with that. Loss yeah. is very strange. But one of my best friends, um, my best friend Kendall, um, went through something similar when she was young, and that's something that bothered her. It was just ah. like having to deal with those intense feelings. And your friends don't know. They're fucking trying to do whatever. Yeah, so their problems are. Yeah. Fuck. And that's like also what I was trying to do. <laughs> But like I was like fucking God. God, now I have to deal with, with it. Grief. <laughs> grief. God. Yeah. So when you went through, um, you know, other losses, mm-hmm. you can't imagine that you're gonna react the same and that it feels the same and that you're familiar with grief. Or were you like, I'm a pro, no problem. Here's the seven stages. What's her name? Kubler invented them, and I'm just going <laughs> through the motions. Uh, no, it sucks ass every time. <laughs> But uh, but I also like they're always different. Mm-hmm. Like um, and I'm not like also like I Nick, like, <laughs> come get these toys right. off my bed. You should be. I'm not well, kidding. I, I you feel, should be. I feel. Uh, I, is I it toilet time? Toy time. To be able to help young kids mm-hmm. feel like it's best for me and stuff. Like, 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 and I feel that's like the part I'm proud of. But, but I'm like, you know, yes. Things around that that's what she just said. You weren't listening. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. Fuck you. Yeah. You don't know anything. Cut your hair. It's getting too long. You can't hear. I said, cut your hair. It's getting too long. You can't hear. I do, like, I have some problem with that. And I think that that is something that people say to try to, like, I get why, but it's just like, I think that that's absolutely untrue. Why? Uh, why, why things happen for a reason? Why, why don't they? Why, why isn't there a reason? Because what's the fucking reason that would like facilitate that amount of horrible mm-hmm. loss? That like yeah. is the reason? Like no reason is worth that. Is like, it to like, teach? I mean, I don't know who's teaching us. Well, but again, it's like whose reason? Like, is it God's reason? Like, it's like, like God? Uh, I think there's like some sort of magical energy that's like a guy tinkering around. <laughs> but I kind of think that <laughs> tinkering around. Guy tinkering around. <laughs> Story that I'm yeah. like, this would kind of be cool. Uh, it's just all stories, but I'm like, it would yeah. be kind of cool if it was like a guy that was like, you know, or a girl, a or a them, always uplift female creators. And <laughs> I heard it here first. Um, and uh, just like someone who's like, all right, I like made this like thing, they like big bang, they're like, I create the world, and they're like, oh, fuck, there's like a tsunami, like, I'm not really sure, like, what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> How do I fix this? Yeah, like, it's like babies aren't supposed to die. Yeah, like, It helps that she's been upstairs. These people had sex and they have to die now. Like, I don't think. Fuck that. Yeah, I don't think that exists. But I think that there's like maybe some sort of something that's out there that's kind of cool. I agree with that. I think that's a generational thing too, is that like religion was such an important part for um, people to feel community and comfort and reason. Mm -hmm. And I like, I like the unknown. Did that help with your grief? Is like, it's all just a bunch of like unfairness and nothing was promised. I don't think it's a bunch of unfairness. I just think it is like what it is. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's like, I'm not out here being like the world's fucked. And actually I think 
that is the, the coin flip of where I could have gone. Mm-hmm. And I could have mm-hmm. gone to this place where that's it's like, why you need to be proud. Yeah. Okay. And that's why I'm like, I could have been just like, everything fucking sucks. Everyone's horrible. People don't know anything. But instead, the, the, the place that brought me was like, uh, how lucky <laughs> am I that I get to still be here and I get to still, and then like, yeah. you know, horrible, horrible things go on all around the world. Yeah. And it's horrible. And people who have to deal with these unbelievable stakes that prevent them from just like basic everyday, everyday yeah. necessities. And so it's like, how lucky we are to be alive right now. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it, but Sorry, I knew it was going to fucking ruin so, your moment. But I also will say um, that I am a thespian. No, I also will say that, like, I think I, um, the window. wow, it sounds so good. Ah, it's a wow. And the Hamilton came in. That's a classic. Oh, it's brought me closer to anybody feeling pain. Uh, uh, when I was younger, and I told you, I, this happened when I was 17, and I was in college, and at first I'd be like, oh, oh fuck uh, you, that's you're you're complaining, complaining about some it. crush. Yeah. And then I quickly learned that, like, that was not making me a happy person. Thank mm-hmm. you. Wow, that's, like, that's crazy to realize like before. Yeah, that's not. Because uh, I just was like, oh, like, that was I'm actualized as fuck. Well, I'm like, the sliding scale of the level of feeling that I'm experiencing right now is like, here and this yeah. hell. Yeah. And no. the sliding scale is still zero to hell for other people, but their hell is a higher, yeah. you know, it's like, yeah, sure. they deal with the breakup and that's horrible and they're feeling yeah. so emotional about it. And it's like, that is the worst thing that they may have experienced thus far, so it's like, that, I have to give that, yeah. you know, credence. And, you know, and I think that's really... Why would you suffocate the dog again, with pillow? For I think I just she can't up breathe. on that like, 30 year old, and it's... Her whole uh, face is that with the pillow. Okay, then. It's fine. <laughs> gorgeous and like shitty and annoying and like eye rolling yeah it's like but i think you're you're coming at it from such a lens of gratitude which separates me from the people who experience pain that i can't stand Mm -hmm. and don't like to be around and can't stand to hear it and people that i can connect with and go i have a choice also to be surrounded with people who take pain and turn it into gratitude and it's not like toxic positivity it's just mindfulness yeah and also like i yeah there's people who like make uh, their their pain or their trauma, their identity, and yeah. I think that that's such a trap. What kind of soup do we got? It yeah. feels like obviously that shit's all so important. Um, but I don't like you said. I don't really come off like somebody who's dealt with that because like I am not interested in. Like, it's also like I don't know. I'm trying to get the more. The herb dumpling. It, it, like, it helps. Uh, we probably uh, have like, a chicken tortilla left. Like, mm-hmm. I am just like I don't need that to be the first step forward. Chicken barley. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You, you um, are so much more, and that's like a piece. Never barley. You People like barley. Also, okay. In a way, because you're a barley boy. Value. You bought those barley for you. Oh, the wild bread. Right. 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 Yeah. What's the best thing oh, we got everything. that someone mm-hmm. said to you in response mm-hmm. to it's what you shared about pot your pie. pies? I haven't like, decided. I think that's okay. the. The pot pies are. Do I want something real wet or a real dry? Yeah, they're like, the, the large size ones. So I think it's like twice the size like, of the normal ones. Oh yeah, people ones. are good. Or it's a, I don't have to just yeah, respond yeah. the same. It was way the same price. So like, like, oh, like if yeah, yeah, if you're <laughs> you're a mouse. I mean, we could share it. Yeah, we would share it. I was not eating a gigantic pot pie. Sometimes don't make it through a single one. Ooh. And also to be there, just be there. If you I prefer friend, it be shredded chicken, but that's the only you know, thing. Brother, whatever. Just be in there. the pie. It doesn't really yeah. matter what you say. You're not. There's no. There's no you can't key. Solve that. There's no. There's no like. Oh, if I just try this enough times, I'm gonna be able to make this person feel better. Yeah. They're not gonna feel better. And they may never really feel better, but they're gonna feel. Over the course of time, it's going to numb, it's going to feel, you know, different. Right, but right. it's like, you, you can't solve it. So just yeah. be present. Damn. Sit there with your laptop next to them and mm-hmm. be like, you want to watch a movie or you just want to sit here? You want to get your food or are we going to just sit here? It doesn't matter. I just like, that was what mattered to me was my friends being mm-hmm. around. Because, mm-hmm. um, yeah, you gotta, so, you gotta just be around your friends. Support your friends. Yeah, there's like something you don't realize until you're much older because you spend so much of your youth trying to get laid and be cool and oh, popular yeah. Yeah. like as we did we were we so cool metal yeah album. uh what did you say metal metal mm-hmm. like metal like rock like metal as hell cool got it um <laughs> <laughs> not my era uh community is everything like friendship <laughs> love community <laughs> I, yes, <laughs> I think about all 
all the time, and I'm grateful only for my friends. Ooh. Um, I also just think that people <laughs> should, like, I try to, out of the blue, if I'm thinking about somebody recently, I've just, in the past couple of years, I will just text them. Even yes. if I haven't talked to them in years. Oh my god. Hey, I was just thinking about you. God, God thoughts are so powerful, dude. Yeah. And it makes people feel seen, and it's helpful. And it, just to get a text, I yeah. randomly just like, oh my god, you're thinking about me? Unless it's in like a weird way, then I'm like, give it to yourself. Oh, like, Robin. I was thinking about mm. you. Winky. Yeah. Like I thought about you in the shower. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's time in the, in the woods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Go wow, we went deep. We did. What was your segment called about going deep? Get, being, getting real. Get being real. real. It's time to be real. It's time to get real. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you for saying that. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> this person wants to know. Oh, this one's. Uh, well, mm, I can't ask that right after we just had such a heartful conversation. No, no, no. no. Let's mm-hmm. see it. Okay. Um, Let the energy of the show, Kelsey, be, be like a wave. A chaotic, yeah. chaotic wave. wave. Okay. Were there any underlying meanings when you called Ned a scumbag before the scandal? Um, <laughs> I. Don't recall? Please occur. Please occur. Okay. <laughs> um, but yes. How. <laughs> what is one word you would just. What He's is a one bully. word that you use to describe your feelings about becoming a dad? Oh, man. If that's a feeling. <laughs> stoked. <laughs> stoked? Uh, yeah, stoked or like, um, <laughs> it's going to be crazy. How come I had to hear about you having a baby through the internet? It's because. You don't share it. You don't. For as much as you are, to, <laughs> you literally talk for a fucking living. You sure don't talk about your private life. Uh, yeah. Well, I, yeah, that's true. I think that also with the baby thing, I have seen it. <laughs> I have <laughs> seen it. <laughs> seen it turn back. I have seen people uh-huh. announce their baby uh-huh. like it's a fucking piece of merch. Ooh. And I just was like, I am stoked Come to have a baby. October 19th. Baby I want to let people know. Like, I just was like, I don't know. We're not doing that. New baby drop. We're not doing that. New baby drop. It's all starter package. <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like yeah, like we don't want the same color of everything. No, because that's what. It's also, it's like what? Uh, who cares? Yeah. Shit? Yeah. Kids are gonna be raised in L.A. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. But no sports in our house, though. Oh no, absolutely not. No. I'm so glad you said that. I have not. No, no football. Our child's got the fucking. Oh, well, of absolutely. course, no football. Yeah. I think I mean, Sarah's a big jock, honestly, so our kid will probably <laughs> play basketball. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, well, that's all right. The, the thing you gotta worry about that is ankles and knees. Yeah, football. You no. can get enough. Absolutely. Not. You can get yeah. But um, but they will be knees will be the training age. Yeah, one. absolutely. But uh, yeah, I'm just so excited. I was actually Is recently listing a list child? of anxieties to a friend of mine. We were like, I was like, what were they? Uh, Say them. I was like, oh man, like worried about this like work thing and like all stressed out and like. Is that what work thing can you possibly be worried about? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, he was like, oh, and also, man, like, yeah, you get you get a baby coming soon, like that's gotta be stressful. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess that's it. Like, I'm not. But like, you're not stressed. No, I'm not worried. About it. I, I mean, I again, like, when I say that, I'm not trying to be like it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. Dude. By the way, I'm gonna be stressed then, yeah. sleep deprived, of course. But why worry now? But I'm also not like I'm just like we're just excited and it, we have a really good thing going. Good, I really good. like my wife a lot. Mm-hmm. We have That's a good, important. We have like a good house and we're fun to be around. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Say it fucking louder because I was just yeah. talking about this with a guy that I'm sleeping with where we can't stand people who are like, this old ball and chain. That's psycho. I We've been through it, everything, the ups, the downs, and I want to kill him, but I love him. That's but crazy. Don't be together. No, don't be together. There is a world in which you can be good yeah. majority of the time. Yeah. Also, like, I, uh, Stephen Kuzi, I think you're one of these people. Um, I, Careful. I, I, I think so. <laughs> no, um, but, like, uh, I am excited to have kids because I think to me and Sarah are going to be fantastic parents. We're stoked to have kids. You should have children. But also, I am excited because I know there's a lot of people in my life who don't necessarily want to have kids. <laughs> but I'm excited because our kid will get to have those people in our child's uh, life. Which is yeah. like, I mean, it's like, because I think there are great people, and I'm like, oh, you'd be such a good mentor and whatever. And it's, I don't think everyone needs to have kids, no, but I'm like, but I'm, st- I'm stoked for our child to have those people as someone they look up to. I think it's a good reaction when people mm-hmm. are like, yes, you should have a child. Yeah. No one has said that to me mm. ever. <laughs> Never. Even when I was in a relationship, no one has said, you guys should be having babies. You should have multiples. That's nice. Are you trying to have them close together? Because that's a thing you got to think about. Yeah, we're trying to get four heavy. Just fucking a couple, man. A couple, man, yeah. Like a well, I mean, weird one. I'm hoping for like, one of them is twins. Because it'd be kind of sick. Do you have any twins in the family? No. 
Mm. But like with like you know like I, IVF, I it's like it's like genetically it's possible, right? No, with IVF it raises the. Not oh, that we're gonna do that. I'm not yeah, saying yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah, do yeah, anything. I'm not saying we're doing anything. Why? But I'm just seeing. Yeah, who knows? Okay. Because people are weird about. I don't want like people to be talking about you know like your pleasure. Like Got it. My wife's you know. Got it. But, um, Got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but that does raise the raise the chance. We know you have a healthy uterus, Dad. So it's very you should very healthy. Very healthy. Um, it's a cranberry cranberry juice. That's a myth. Uh, what is that the <laughs> part? That's not true. Do you want your fucking period? No, cranberry juice has a ton of sugar in it, and you don't want sugar when you have a UTI. Yeah, but oh, no, but only if you cranberry juice cocktail. No, cranberries are natural sugars. Yeah, but that's not sugar is not good. There for are cranberry pills that a doctor gives you for UTIs. That is a myth, and a doctor is not giving you cranberry pills, Miles. You <laughs> don't get prescribed a cranberry. I'm being gaslit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was gaslit on Confidently Insecure. My next the vlog. The title of the podcast. My next vlog. We need more scandal. There's not enough happening. Kelsey Dara thinks she's Confidently Insecure. Um, well, that just goes to show how much you don't listen to the podcast because we've dispelled the cranberry myth before. Okay. Um, what do I take then if my urethra is hurting? G- an antibiotic. <laughs> <laughs> Scientific That's medicine. Fair. Okay. Um, if you were what do I take if my urethra is hurting? Try guide, would you? No. You, you said no before you even finished the question. That's how strongly you feel? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I don't think that there needs to be four. Mm-hmm. And also, like... It, arguably, it's always meant to be three. Try. Yeah, try. But also, like, yeah, I, I just... It's, I mean, I love being in videos of Try Guys. I love But if love you it. can be in them and not have to be a Try Guy, by all means, my dude. Yeah. Yeah, do that. I'm sure I'll be in stuff coming forward. I love uh, it. It's great. Yeah. It's really fun, but, like, I don't need to be, you know... A, a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I like that answer. Uh, were you popular in high school? Yes or no question. My high school was 40 kids a day that in my class. That wasn't a yes. <laughs> Sorry, say what you said again. My high school was 40 kids a class. What? Real small. In North Carolina? North Carolina. A private Lord. school. A private school. Uh, and I taught there. So that's why I was uh, able to go. Um, what do you teach? Uh, we taught third and fourth grade math and science. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and oh, English. Small school. Okay. So it's like he had like a study yeah, break yeah, and yeah. for a couple of years. But um, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, I was popular. But it's, it's like, it's, it was, the bar was low. What were you known for? Like, that being a teacher's kid? Yeah, I was a teacher's kid, so, like, all the teachers knew me because of that. Um, were you a good student? I was okay. I was, I, How could you not be I was smart, smart. I, because we didn't have grades. What? Yeah. We had, go to country schools? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm mm. into this shit. Um, Are you going to send your kid out to a weird school? I want that. I would be into it. I would say, they, although, it's, it's tough because California has really tough private school, pu- public schools, but I would like my kid to go to public schools. Like I just a Montessori? It depends. Um, maybe. I watch those TikToks, and it's it's changed me. It depends. Uh, it just depends on a lot. Like, I do, I loved my education. Uh-huh. And again, like, I, we got, like, test scores and shit. We just didn't, like, get, um, you know. Yeah, A, B. A, we didn't get letter grades. Did but, you take the SATs? Yeah. What'd you get? Um, I'll fu- I don't even fucking remember. But I got into UNC Chapel Hill. You said that so quickly. What I heard was, I got a DUI a hill. I got a DUI, and they let me in. So no. they said, Let, we'll just take this. We don't need your SAT score. <laughs> you got a DUI. Right, right on score. That's good. Right on right schedule. On yeah. That's how you got into Chapel Hill was what? I got a, I got a point four, four .0 GPA, point four B, <laughs> BA. I'm trying to do a joke. So, no, I, said I got it. Uh, yeah, I went into UNC Chapel Hill, but I don't remember what I got on my SATs. But you got in? Mm-hmm. How many colleges did you get into? I, I NYU was my dream school. Same. Didn't get in. Same. <laughs> yeah, NYU didn't yeah, get in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was the only. I was like, I'm going to NYU, and I'm going to yeah. be the Lonely Island, but in, in mm-hmm. yes. this age. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I had friends that went, which is worse. I knew a girl that went. Yeah. And I was. So is she successful? I don't know. We gotta check her on. <laughs> but um. Surprise! That's who we've got on the line. Mm-hmm. Uh, use your computer name and the phone. Boop, boop. So, um, Hi. the guy, uh, I, 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 I your computer to answer the phone. Not going to be By the way, I toured Columbia University, and halfway through the tour, I looked at my mom and I said, No, I'm not going there. This is up. The kids were fucking state. stressed. Oh. I was like, This is not worth it. It's, Why are people going here? It's grad school. Yeah, it's like grad school level. Yeah. I was like, This is like, these kids are, all they're talking about is studying. Yeah. yeah. It, it, I, and, uh, I, I don't believe that. I can't handle it. Oh, I fully believe in college. I think that's really? crazy. I love Hold college. on. I love Why? It. Because I think college... Oh, you think for the so- social approach. Well, no. It's also, if you can have 40... I mean, college is fucking stupid expensive, and it should be cheaper. That Take that out of the co- equation. Because okay. I'm like, I don't... Uh, colleges are way too fucking expensive. Okay, yeah, no, I still think they're stupid. 
Did you go to college? I dropped out of mm-hmm. school. So here's the thing. Mm-hmm. College isn't for everybody. I don't think everybody no. should go. Unless you have someone's life in your hands. Like you're a lawyer or a doctor. I don't think you need to go. I so disagree. Oh, my God. Um, I have four years to figure out my uh, shit. To go learn. figure it out and go figure it out. Huh? You don't have to be in college. But I have a degree afterward, which is going to allow me to mm. make more money. Do you guys know anyone? A hundred per- You're oh, such okay. a fucking privileged artist. Mm. You're like an influencer, Kelsey. You're like an influencer. Don't tell aspiring influencers or aspiring I to do, not go to college. I, oh, no. I fully, I still stand by, despite what I do for a living, that I wasted so much time. You did. You know who didn't? Me. What did you do in, in college? I double so majored funny. and I minored. In what? I got a media production, studies in production, mm-hmm. and dramatic art, and I minored in screenwriting. Okay, all of those are useless. You know that I'm doing all three of those yeah. in my life. That's my point. I wish I would have gotten here sooner yeah. and started working on my craft Where'd you go to school? Where'd you go to school? First, I went to Auburn University. Yeah, never in heard of it. Alabama. Never heard of it. Yes, you have. You went to North Carolina, motherfucker. Auburn. Auburn. Whatever. Roll, go, roll Tide. That's but also, Alabama. like, I think that, you know, did you have a job when you dropped out of college? Did you get a job? Um, or your parents sort of like, this is daddy's credit card? No, <laughs> I, I went because, this is a funny story, my sister got a DUI, yeah. and my parents yeah. stayed for us for college, and they said, well, if, as, if you don't get a DUI or get arrested, yeah. you guys can have this money to go to college. Yeah. My sister got a DUI and got arrested, got it. so she did not get her college money. That rolled into my bank account, so I got to go to Romero State College, Yeah. and dropped out. Did you keep the money? I used it to then try to go to New York Film Academy. Dropped out. Came here to LA for two days to have to do a summer in um, Warner Brothers World. Uh-huh. Finished, got an AA. Mm-hmm. Tried to go to LA City College yeah. and get a film degree. LA City. Yep. And dropped out. Yeah. Seems, like a, seems like a you problem. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> um, I got a scholarship for NYPA, mm-hmm. and LA City College wasn't that expensive. Right. It was like less than. An expensive dinner in Los Angeles. This all seems like a you problem. <laughs> I just think if you know what you want to do, even if you, you, if you are you like you, do, uh-huh. thing, if you are like you, I'm great. Mm. So if, yeah. Yeah, if you're a Kelsey type, yeah. I think you like, should like, believe in yourself yeah. and go forth in a direction of something you like to do. Sometimes I hear you, sometimes I hear you make these blanket. You're like, here's the law, mm. and it's like you are such a specific. You are unlike well, anybody I'm ever. I'm so know. glad I, you, I exude that confidence. You are unlike anybody I know, but you make laws for yeah. the rest for of the other world. people that and matter. I that think they're like they you. Need to and hear it. Not. I think when, I think girls need to hear it. You don't need to go to college because it's a four year. Um, Can I tell you about struggle. my life experience? Yeah, go ahead. That's what this podcast is about. So mm. I loved college because of a couple of reasons. One, I got to learn a lot of wonderful things. Being able to just like, here's your job is to learn, I find is like great. It's fucking fantastic. Mm-hmm. Not everyone goes to college to learn. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> what are you talking? What do you mean not everyone goes to college feeling that way? People go to college to party, Miles. They don't go to learn. They could go to fucking Auburn. Oh, mm-hmm. you. Yeah, I party. I party there. That was a good student. People don't, they fuck off in college. Oh, no. A lot of you people did. fuck off in college. If yeah, you fucked off in college, leave a comment below. I for mm-hmm. sure right. fucked off in college. I learned more in high school and on TikTok than in college. Mm-hmm. That's just me. Don't, go back to you. Don't go Let's to Kelsey. Don't go to Kelsey for academia. Don't go to Kelsey <laughs> University. Don't go to Kelsey University. Don't go to Kelsey. Uh, you, you've spoken your truth. Yeah. And now it's time for you to speak. Yes. See, that's what you need to do is you're not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not a good listener. I'm practicing. You should listen to me. <laughs> yeah, you are. Thank you. Um, I love college. I Why are you in the window? That, uh, you know, again, everyone's on the Put that can down. You can, uh, my can. can get money or you can get no. scholarships and it's mm. free. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is worth it to be getting it's a degree. Fine. Being, uh, I'm cute. Mm. If you're going to, and honestly, but even if you are, <laughs> <laughs> you get that, you jobs. Yeah. 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 Money, so I have I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Free fall. So there's like a little parachute. I'm making money as I'm trying to Did you join a company? In Chapel Hill? Oh, there's definitely Greek mm-hmm. life. Why didn't you Greek life? Because I think that life. ruins it for a lot of people. No, that's the thing is that, yeah. I, it I, creates I a know. false sense of brotherhood and hate no, pay for friends. Yeah. Just fucking crazy. Okay, so we agree on that. I hate fraternities. Okay. I know people in them, but no, that's not for me. And I think Dad, that uh, Dad, I Dad, Dad, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Also, like, I also have a giant palace 
yeah, you need a dynamic person. I was like, I need to go to the stick. And I was good so shit. Straighten out your spine. You look terrible. That's a me being awkward. But you needed that. You needed that. Because you weren't like a city boy growing up with the hard knocks of street life. I think I grew up in Florida. I was dead growing up by the time I left. Yeah, like I. Mm. I didn't need to be socialized. I needed Xanax and therapy. Yeah, you needed Xanax and to come to LA to be an influencer. Yeah. Mm. Love listening. Yeah. You're an influencer, whether you like it or not. Do you feel like an influencer? Uh, no. That's Mm. a good question. I'm trying to get more, uh, you know. I think it's just. What feels wrong about it for you? Um, Oh, oh, beef. And no say that. I don't feel good. No, I, 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 because it's very cool. Like, I feel very very lucky to have, like, I have, like, a hundred thousand bucks. It's like an insurmountable amount of people who can imagine. But I think that, um, I don't know, I think that it feels, uh, it feels very temporary. I don't know why. Okay. Maybe it is. It's probably a trend. The, the, you said something Pick interesting about actors. Talk to her. I grew up in the same era of actors being like the <laughs> highest form of. You like should have picked her up. Uh, um, yeah, like self owned <laughs> art. <laughs> and I picked her up pretty long ago. We were so lucky mm-hmm. to be in a generation that. Oh, that's a you problem. Yeah. And it's because we had so much control over it. I'm telling you things you already know. Okay, we're literally coming to the end of the podcast, and mm. we have so many fucking questions left, so we're going to okay. do a speed round. Here we go. So this is yes or no. Or the okay. fastest you can answer. Okay, okay ready? Mm-hmm. Have you always been funny? Uh, yes. Do you always want to work in video Mom. and audio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect person Mom. started as a Patreon yeah. channel for the Try Guys. When and how did you deti- decide to strike it out on your own? Uh, pass. The question's not correct. Oh. Mm. How do you know when a choice you're making that scares you is for growth or a bad one, i.e. starting a new career? Uh, you should do things that make you uncomfortable and that scare you. Uh, for both of us. What is something that fills your cup emotionally and makes you happy and whole? Coffee. 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 And that's your Your part that me. Is really good. I did like a fake trailer for a Netflix documentary about me, which is disaster. I would like to see it. What are your thoughts on the societal constructions of motherhood and fatherhood? Oh, uh, I mean, quick answer. Yeah, uh, they're, they don't exist. Like, they're, they're, people do different things for their child, and like, obviously, the mother falls into the role because if she's going to be doing things like uh-huh. breastfeeding, but like, there uh-huh. is no right or wrong way to have each person do. Well, breastfeeding is really the only thing. That's the only thing. And everything and else gonna, can be nothing. Everything else should be nothing. like, uh, you just figure it out between you the two of you. Yeah. What's your favorite meal? Bye. Oh man, recently. I've been Miles, this is a speed round. Remember that energy you had? <laughs>
Who is my number? I think people, mm. people are actually contacting my friend, my best friends more than they are me. Like Smart. kids that we went to college with are hitting up like my good, best friends. Good. Like, is you need to be alone. Yeah. Um, what's something you're anxious about right now? Oh man, I gotta offload these cards and then I wanna finish a movie. Oh, what movie? Mm-hmm. I'm watching a black film, but I didn't finish it. What's it like to be America's Darling? Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's very sweet. Mm. And, um, mm. I feel very grateful. This is actually a side thing, but no, I feel very grateful. I feel yes. very grateful for the audience. The, 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 obviously, like, Trent guys being an audience. And Sarah doesn't well, need a scarf, she's audience. got a collar. People who like maybe like yeah. me, maybe. And right. that group of people. That I feel very lucky about that. that I feel Don't. About people. Favorite movie we've done on Guilty Pleasures? Why you buy it? Have you decorated the yeah. room yet? Yes. No. Why you buy it? Yeah, I got it. Let's listen to the same wine. Let's see another good wine. What's your nighttime routine? Oh, my nighttime routine. Big, a couple flaws. Big. Shocking at them. Cold from temp? What are we talking? Cold from temp, but sometimes I'll put ice in there. I'm doing the thing from the bear where I'm drinking out of the soup containers. Because there's so much more water in there. Than Doesn't it taste glass. metally to me? It's not metal. It's not. A, no, no, no. It's it's a plastic soup container. Oh, sorry. I metally. Me- soup comes in metal cans. I'm not drinking out of a jagged metal. I went soup. into this podcast episode, yeah, which is so funny because uh, we both asked each other to be on the podcast. I was literally going to ask you to be on this, but you made me ask me to my parents. And I was like, oh, kismet. Because I want to know more about you. And I feel like I have walked away. Uh, Knowing so much about you. Oh my gosh, so we can watch so the reason. episode that they were on. Yeah. Episode 14. Uh, what do people find you? You can find me at Mel Vaughn. Is it worth it? Is it person? I want Taco Bell. Can you, Jesse, answer her when she talks to you? I froze avocados to put them in my smoothie. So I sliced them down the middle. Got the little pit out. So I got a sound effect. And um, then I just sort of froze them. Because I saw it at Moon Juice. Moon Juice. Fancy LA ass place. And I thought that was cool. So I made a smoothie out of it. I thought you were going to say you made ice cream with it. No, because that's like, I guess, the vegan way to go for ice cream. Mm. I'm joined by freelance sidekick Kelsey Jarrett. What's wrong with your body? <laughs> do, some, do some squats. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be talking about that. Yeah, that <laughs> what, freelance sidekick? Go downstairs and watch that's something on TV. Way. To describe what I do. There you go. Thank you for that. You know, it's funny because I'm. That's what I, I definitely do. said. That's do squats. Everybody who's a friend of the show comes in. That's not what I said. Oh, oh no, I took that so deeply personally. Nikita, so get, deeply personally. Good answer. Think about it. Yeah. Stop Other yelling at her. You do. What did they say? Yeah, but the things you do. Just like you. Oh my god. Anyway, Kelsey Vieira, welcome to the show. Kelsey is a writer, a comedian, um, the most edited guest of other shows that I produce. Absolutely. Nick. Kelsey. Stop. I'm so fucking excited to be here. Really? Yeah. Lower. I think you're pretty funny. I think you're pretty funny too. Okay. Alright. <laughs> say, say Lower. And obviously, you know, I'll get there. <laughs> Why are you stretching? Because I'm fucking old. Calm down. <laughs> I stretch. you today to uh, someone I was with this morning when I was like, I gotta go do this podcast with her. I go, he's one of those tall, nice, funny white guys that you're pissed is funny. (laughs) That you're like, fuck off. Yeah. You Mm. got the height. You got the gig. You got the white. Go fuck off. No, I know. And I think Mm. that, yeah, that's obviously Better. Yeah. I do sort of have Slower. that vibe. Although okay. I, feel, I have a little bit behind the eye. I don't know how much you know about me. Mm. We haven't really hung no. out outside of the office ever. And I totally would, but yeah. I need you to tell me your deepest traumas like three minutes into our conversation outside of the office. Mm. I can't just 
fucking pretend like I care about small talk with you. Yeah, mm. you don't want to hear about the weather. Sure don't. You want to hear about like the time I was shoved yes. in eighth grade by a bully. Mm. Something shoved up you. No. Preferably. Jesus. Okay. Always trying to weasel in a little offness. <laughs> a little off. <laughs> Tools are made to be filled. Nice. We are doing after we do the show. We're going to do your podcast. Yes, we are. So if you want to hear more of my deepest, darkest secrets, yes, you do. I would imagine that I'll be revealing them on your show, Confidently really Obscure. Thank you. And yes, correct. Come now, over. Kelsey, I wanted to have you on the show today because um, I actually feel like you have great advice <laughs> that is wholeheartedly opposite of advice that I might be giving on the show. Yes, I. I would say you and I. Have differing opinions on most things. Mm. Most? But I think we're both, we both have good hearts. Yeah. It's just how we get there. Mm. Our different journeys, you know? Yeah. I'm driving a fucking Camaro covered in lube off the side of a mountain, mm. and you're in a Prius. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even get a full size car with his big body. <laughs> I wanted to say before we get into the calls because people are calling and they have questions mm-hmm. and they need to solve. Straighten you out something? your back leg. Um, That's right. And so, <laughs> I watched your Instagram clips on it. Do you to watch? be honest, I didn't know you had a new podcast, which is on you. That's on me? That's on mm-hmm. you not pouring out enough. You follow the gram, baby. I follow the gram. Look at, yeah, have you heard the Robert De Niro thing? No. He was uh, doing a, a thing for the Joy Bacon Film Festival. Mm-hmm. And it's like there's like a behind the scenes clip, and then he's like, "Come on down, the Joe Rogan film." He's being very relaxed, yeah. and the director's like, um, Come, "Hey Bob, can we just like do it a little more, do it a little more enthusiastic?" And he goes, "I'm not selling cars here." <laughs> <laughs> That's you're cool in a way that you don't need to shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> That's kind, but it's also probably a bad marketing strategy. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, my question my was, friend. what qualifies you as a perfect person to give perfect advice? To yeah. Do you see? These turns. <laughs> Are you doing slam poetry right now? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see these scars? Yeah. Do you see these wrinkles and these feathers? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the way I look and act as a person? Yeah. I fucking live. Yes. I've lived 17. You don't get sober because you have because it was a fun idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've lived through some shit. Yeah. And I've gotten to a place with no DUIs. No jail time. Wow. Extended jail time. Mm. And I feel like because of that, and I meditate, I am a perfect person. You know what? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like that a lot. I do have questions about sobriety. Okay. That um, maybe we'll get to a, a little bit later. Right. Show. Whatever. It's your show. Right. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Mm-mm. I'm just hemming and hawing. They did Hocus Pocus 1 and 2? I'm probably only did 2. They replaced Garrick with another black man. That's offensive. Need chip. Jarvis Johnson. He gon' cook. America's plastic makers aren't just making Nikki, do you wanna take a bath? Durable and yes? Our goal no? Is making do you wanna shower? For generations to come. Okay. Do you wanna get beat up? Delicious taste. Stop. Don't do that. Have you ever wanted a flaming hot soup? Ugh. This is before he got the ladle. Do you want me to put on the pot pies? The pot pie. Did you hear what I said? Just before you got the ladle, yes. That was very funny. You should have been listening to that and responding. I was having a conversation. I was just like, mm, I'm going to eat. <laughs> and that's why your baby's crying at you, because you're selfish. Francesca! No, don't be yelling at her. Go. Go downstairs. Nikita, go downstairs. No, stop yelling at her. No, she... This is an acceptable behavior. No! And you keep defending her when she's being a jerk. No, just go downstairs. She'll follow you. 
No, you can put on something on the TV. Moon Girl. If you want to watch Moon Girl downstairs. You thought uh, about it, though. Are you Moon Girled out? Stop doing that. Pick that up before Sarah eats it. She's coming. Um, I'm asleep. <laughs> okay, it starts by kneeling down. <laughs> and then looking for it. Because you dropped it. Anyway, back to Jarvis. Hot Cheeto soup. Hello, everybody. So I've been cooking a lot lately, and I've run into a bit of a bind. Every mm -hmm. single time I search up a recipe on the internet for cooking, I get no results. Not a single, not a single recipe on the internet. Luckily, I found I found TikTok, which is a place that, that only uh, TikTok they has recipes now. Food That's the government. Instructions. The first cook I have to show you today is named. Getty. Pick Getty her up and take her downstairs. TikTok account. It stars Getty. She just wants you to hold her. You're not, not giving her any attention, and when she actually, talks to you, you don't talk to her. Primarily a Guinness. No, just pick her up. World record holding hula hooper, which is not a roast at all. Actually, it just makes her recipes all the more impressive. So right there in the center, we're gonna do one more. Mm -mm. Okay, so it. Uh, oh. This is not a dish. This is not a dish I've ever seen before that involves wrapping. Uh, raw spaghetti in ground beef. Hi, yeah. All right, here's my next set. You have to yell when you when you karate chop the beef. <laughs> you. Hi, yeah. So like, does does putting Nick? Do you want to go downstairs with Dad? Around the spaghetti, do yeah. something. Stand up. Or is it just like a presentation? Daddy will pick you up. <laughs> is it like? Because that's really one of my questions. Unless we're yeah. trying to make like a well, he's leaving because his back hurts. Like, like give him, like, give him hair or something. I did notice that actually. Oh shoot! Did you guys, did you guys no, come back and get her. You should have just picked her up while you were here. Getty spaghetti. Getty spaghetti. Hey. Some bell peppers. Jesse. Communicate with her. You need to verbalize what you need her to do and talk to her and be empathetic. It's one of my favorite spices to add to stuff. Uh, she wants you to pick her up. You gotta bend at the knee. You gotta climb up on to something so I can pick you up. It's gonna release the sugars. Nerds are. That's not my like special yeah. property that only nerd nerds have. Actually, no, I am. I am one. Nerd. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't so look good. this isn't like one of those TikTok recipes where at the end you're like, wow, I can't believe Tell Wolf to come here. so delicious. Uh, it, j it just looks like you put nerds no. on hamburger. Mm. Spaghetti spaghetti. Yummy. I think this is based on like someone else's recipe. I don't, no offense to Getty. I don't think this is her independent idea, though I do think the nerds are uh, a, a, a special touch. But hey, if you think that's wacky, you got another thing coming, and specifically the other thing that you have coming is Getty's patented flaming hot Cheeto mac and cheese. No, uh, it's not patented. It's a product that they sell, but Getty's not using that. She's making it from scratch because she's a real chef slash hula hoop enthusiast. Mm -hmm. What's up, idiot? <laughs> How you doing? Oh, no. yes. So we're boiling no, flaming hot Cheetos, that which is a thing nose. that I thought you could do. Clean your nose into your shower. Actually don't know if it's a thing that you Stop could running. do. What's the game plan here? Like, it's water, it's Cheetos. It's going to be mostly... <coughs> oh. Like, what's going on here? I'm adding the ones with lime. Mm -hmm. Just for, like, that hint of lime. I don't want to put the entire bag... Do you know what else could add a hint of lime? Lime. Is a lime. 
um, a line could help. You didn't have to add another <laughs> type of flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> it's like, hmm, this salad needs something. <laughs> like, <laughs> boils a bag of cool ranch Doritos. Mac and cheese, just plain old mac yeah. and cheese. This is like the least instruction I've ever been given for a recipe. Like you put a whole, ba you put one and a half bags of flaming Hot Cheetos into a pot with some water and then no. you make some mac and cheese. I've got regular flaming Hot Cheetos here um, and I've got uh, lime flaming Hot Cheetos, you know, to add that lime flavor. Oh, like lime Hot Cheetos. Flavor. And I've got some water here that's getting ready to mm -mm. boil, but they never said how much water you're supposed to, like, I prefer Takis. How much water is necessary to <laughs> to boil flaming hot Cheetos into a soup. I know, I'm Whoa. I know. Whoa. <laughs> that is not, <laughs> that's not what you should be reacting to, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that that was something that we could have expected, I think, is adding the cheese from the mac and cheese. Uh, where was that surprise when she was boiling a bag of flaming hot Cheetos? The man behind the camera has the strangest reactions to everything going on around him. But those are the flaming hot. Yes. <laughs> so those are the flaming hot. <laughs> like, like, where did you come from? Did Diddy tell this man literally nothing before he handed him a camera? <laughs> it was just like, film. Film this and react. Like, you've been in the same house as these flaming Hot Cheetos. Okay, so we finally got some boiling, some boiling water mm -hmm. here. Now it is time to add our key ingredient, flaming Hot Cheetos. Jenny Spaghetti told me to add the whole bag. Oh, I, I gotta eat one. Good, good by itself. Doesn't need anything else, especially not to be a mac and cheese. That smells disgusting. Oh, Oh, the Cheeto, the hot Cheeto. Not all sort of colitis. Welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. And what is absolutely not premium is what we're going to be talking about today. I have a history of talking about weird and bad food on this channel, and we'll be doing it again today. There is an Instagram called, but would you eat? And I don't know who sent this to me. Uh, if I can find it, I will. And, and I'm gonna look if it's just Instagram or if it's Instagram or TikTok, but this is a channel that knows exactly what it's doing. They know their outrage content. Sometimes we're, we're Francesca. Arguing, like, is it, do they know that people really hate what they're, they know. They know exactly what they're doing, and that doesn't make it any better because uh, they're still creating horrible, horrible atrocities. We'll be looking mm -hmm. at it today. Yeah, I will be torturing good. myself for your pleasure, as we often do here. But would you eat it? Carefully combining curious cuisine. They definitely were going for alliteration. Right on top of those burritos. Mm -hmm. Just add just a couple. Empty so the dryer. I point out that at no point have we attempted to break up this giant block of ground beef? And I feel like that's on purpose and targeted. It's to make me mad. It's, it's mm. so that there is a rectangular prism inside of the crock pot that I cannot look away from. You just want to dump it right on top. Okay. Just do a little bit right on top. It's always nice to add a little bit of fat. There's never any recipes in these things. Mm -hmm. It's always whole containers and a little bit. A little bit. Who in their right mind would try to repeat these recipes? No. I'm going to place the lid right on top. Oh, my God. Uh, so I'll tell you what happened in the cut here is mm. that they mixed everything up. Because I know full well the crock pot is not also a blender. <laughs> this was all stacked on top of each other like a horrible... No! We need the seasoned everything. Don't need the blanket. Don't oh, the worry. Basket. There is a little bit of chili powder um, on top, Ugh, and that boring. adds the flavor. This is gonna taste disgusting, but on the bright side, it does have the texture meat. of dog. Food. It's meat this and is chips like a with the like vegetables. A what? A, like a it is taco. the handlebar. Oh, he has a mustache. Yeah. I don't I'm know. Sorry, I just forgot the beginning. I hate, hate facial hair, so feels like my whole life. You should shave. Wait, why is she slow cooking Doritos? I missed the beginning. What purpose does that serve? You know Doritos aren't meant to be cooked. 
I, in another life, it must have been y- y- a year plus ago now, did try to cook some of these abominations Mm-mm. because one of the things that I kept seeing was like hot Cheeto, mm-hmm. or like hot Cheeto mac and cheese. I remember they boiled hot Cheetos to get all of the, oh God, I'm, I'm getting like grossed out just thinking about it. What happens when you like heat up these Cheeto. like Don't highly hot. processed chips and stuff is all of the components and starches and shit start to break apart and it smells like death and for that reason i feel like you should not slow cook doritos some of you are thinking it's obvious and i would never even have considered slow cooking doritos, doritos. and you're normal it's like a taco it's like a dorito nacho taco it's not it's like you put dog food on doritos also i think that if she had cooked the meat and also seasoned it. There's not a lot of seasoning going on here, not which is another trend that we'll see. There is a version of this that is not as offensive. It's like they worked really hard to make it upsetting. upsetting. <laughs> and that's the artistry that's on display here at But Would You Eat? And my answer is no. no. If I say yes at any point during this video, the video will end. <laughs> because I will be carted away to be studied for my choices in life. Cheers, you guys. This is always my favorite part because they, you get to find out like how good of an actor they are. Can you really sell it? 20 out of 10. Mm -mm. Lies. I think I was not conscious for the beginning of this video because so much was going on. The only thing this is missing is someone off screen being in shock that about how like the food goes together. They're like, oh, so you just mix it right in there. Wow. person more involved and also you know when they have to put a cut in the taste test where they are trying the food that something horrible has happened put some queso right on top of that meat no it's not the queso meat oh then the person in the background is like ho 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 oh this is gonna be good i'm a hankering for some slop tis the season <laughs> actually everybody knows that santa comes down the chimney and he's looking for one thing and one thing only you've been told your whole life it's cookies and milk mm. but it's nacho slop and that's what But Would You Eat is here to create. Santa is fueled nacho by slot. Nacho Slot. And everyone who's saying that this woman is <laughs> creating crimes against humanity is not thinking about Santa. She's saving Christmas, and you guys are You should angry. stop Some of eating. you will remember the video I made Every ages time ago I see also you called eat. Wasting Food with Content, where I talked about Rick Black's like production skin. and how this um, Facebook magician pivoted into... Put the whole thing in your mouth so I can stop looking at it. Content house of... Of food, horrible food cooking extraordinaires. I think maybe skin. that's disbanded and everyone. Turn that light off. Turn it off. It contributes it's nothing. It's still daytime. And new channels are popping up, like But Would You Eat, who have come to fill that void. Is Looks it like worth it? Crock pots with death. A cornerstone of horrible TikTok food is. The basic dry pasta. Mm. It's got a really long shelf life. It's easy to cook, and we all know how to do it. But these TikTok chefs, they always have a little spin on things. But I want to see how this channel puts their own unique spin on this Nasty classic mess. form. They're gonna mess it up somehow. No salt, no pepper, no previous cooking preparation. No I'm oil, sorry. no the matter. Caption, this mac and cheese was worth the raging diarrhea. <laughs> yes, this is gonna cook in the pasta, so you want it to cover all. Is this broth? What broth is this? It's broth. chicken broth. Why? No, it's not cooked. We're gonna mix it in with the chicken broth here. What? Mm-hmm. Mm. Broth and milk. No. Yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy in my tummy. Mac and cheese, baby. Mm. <laughs> uh, just like grandma used to make. No, she my didn't. understanding that you can Why boil gotta stop making mac and cheese? If you it's want bad. more flavor. But this combination is cursed. Some butter and mm. cheese all around. I'm so confused. Would, would, did she just record, a, <laughs> did she just record <laughs> a line? Like she forgot to announce that cheese was coming in. And like uh, us as viewers would have no idea what this orange substance she's sprinkling on top mm. of, of the pasta is. <laughs> so she's like, I gotta, I gotta go to the booth, and I gotta go. Cheese. 
That's I mean that's how you gotta do it. Mm. I've said this before, mm-hmm. I'll say it again. I have no bad blood against this woman. They know I that do. they're doing horrible things on camera. That's like the whole contract. So I'm really just engaging in the They're what wasting they want, food. If I'm being honest. I'm part being of Being children. Mm. Before we get into that, we have a brief word from today's sponsor, Odoo. Odoo is a suite of business apps that covers all No. I don't mm-hmm. want business apps. Yeah. Candles. Candle. <laughs> oh, that's the advice? Date candle. Yeah, he loves candles. Welcome Chesapeake to Bay, the collection. Milesopolis. <laughs> oh, okay. The most western sounding Milesopolis. Big city, but you're a small town boy. Do you uh. want to light your house on fire? No. <laughs> No. And breathe it in to your little sinus. This one's Mm-mm. getting hard. Smell I'll the smells sinus. of baked beans. Mm. Ooh, like turkey. Mm. And enjoy the flame of heat so hot it'll burn your little tush. That was the accent. Like Stay committed. Mm. Are you talking about yet? Get candles. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the advice. <laughs> Get candles. Go to Target and get candles. Candles. Candles smell good. Why are you always pushing that propaganda over to my side? Smells nice. (laughs) You should have a candle in the bathroom. You should have a candle in the bedroom. Mm. You should have a candle. Get a job so we can have candles. It's the second time I've said that because Miles said it twice. Second time I said that today. The hair candle situation is urgent. It's dire. In 1941, Neat shit. What is his real name? Chicken, bitch. Nice Stop smelling it's stuff. Gross. It's fine. It's so what? Oh, okay. I'm gonna dry it again. But don't be smelling it. This project and Andrew's looking pretty tired, Hurry up, it's chicken. Look at this chicken. Perfect shell. It's like a suit of armor. Look at 
the chicken? Freaking chicken. One of the best meats. Best Put that right there, basket in the show. Or in the closet. Oh, man. Ooh, there's like an extra crunchy little bit right here. The skin is a perfect shell. It's like a mm -hmm. suit of armor or a chicken snipe. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am ready. Alright, oh, turn the light on. It's starting to get dark. On the back to practice it. I only care because I'm on the camera. Mm -hmm. it barely helps. <laughs> Melting in the butter. It's a food that tastes chicken and pot pie. Alright, put that on. Oh, I'm going to eat You stupid <laughs> bitch! <laughs> you stupid bitch! I was like, hmm, yeah, that's going to be good. I don't think that's going. <laughs> Got all caught up with the monkey. Oh, you're. <laughs> I'm irresponsible for all the weird things, Kansas. Shut the fuck up! I'm hungry. Okay. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> Not hungry now, but I will be. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it brewing in the uh, battle pot pies. Hurry up! This chicken isn't gonna watch itself. Sarah, where are you going? Excuse you. Alright, whatever. You don't need to be in here. You don't want to be in here. I'm going to go downstairs and take a nap. Francesca. Francesca! Francesca! Yes, ma'am. Why are you always talking to your dad? <laughs> Don't burp on my side of the room. Here. That's a bracelet for a PT tire. Thank you. Yeah. You can keep track of your shit. Can you open the bathroom doors, please? Mm. Thank you. I love you. Maybe the saddest sound at a fried chicken dinner. Uh, that was less traumatic than I thought it would be. Traumatic or dramatic? Did you just make a pun? Traumatic or dramatic? <laughs> I think Steve just made a really good pun. Yeah, that was a perfect. <laughs> Let's start from the pot green. <laughs> that is a perfect thing to eat alongside of this. It's pretty f***ing good, right? Welcome to Sylvia's. It's right there. We're going to Red Rooster, which is over there, but uh, we need to walk off some of this fried chicken, so... Should we take a lap around the block? Chicken walk. What do you think about Sylvia's? Crispy, simple, juicy. Can't ask for more than that. So now we're going to... Wait, wait, wait. Do you hear that? That's the sound of... Fried chicken fat! According to the National Chicken Council, the average American eats over 90 pounds of chicken each year. I guess that makes sense. It's gross when you think about it. Just picturing a 90-pound chicken. It's <laughs> like a, a Rottweiler. Ugh. I guess that's like probably what a small dinosaur would look like. Your tummy feeling mm -hmm. okay? It's ready for more. It's always ready for more. All right. Did you just try to hold my hands? What? No, you're standing very close to me. Oh, Aww. Like chicken. I'm gonna be a monkey. It's gross when you think about it. Hurry up! No. 
No, I'm talking to Dad. No! Hurry up, they're holding hands. Just picturing a 90 pound chicken. For chicken. That looks like a, a Rottweiler. Oh, I guess that's like probably what the small dinosaur would look like. How are you feeling up there? It's ready wow. for more. It's, it's always foot. ready for more. Did okay. right. you just try to hold my hands? You don't no, you're getting very close to me. Oh, okay. Look! You're not in my shot. I angle it away from you and you should not be worried about that. What you should be worried about is what I just said. Chicken on his face. It's like, like a swipe, like a joker. I just got some skin in my bourbon.
We'll stop thumping and get dressed. A trillion chickens. A